Toby from the Jig Spirit, and I am. <laughs> oh, and I'm Dan from the Jig Spirit, in which case I better be like. Down here. It's our second time, but I think the majority of us have been as, as spectators uh, in the past. Punters, yeah. Fortunately, this year we get to spend the kind of the whole weekend here because we're playing like about five gigs in the space of three days. So we played the park stage last night. We're doing the orange stage in about an hour and then we're doing the queue stage at five tonight and then another one tomorrow so they're working us hard this year i think this is one of those times when you get to play the people you wouldn't necessarily ordinarily play to or you might find new fans or or the people who really love you just have somehow lost a bit of their mind and they go extra specially mad when you're at glastonbury so so it's kind of a combination of all that all three i guess and uh, it's such a kind of well-known you know famous festival as well it's you know it's a real honor to even be asked to play it you know and come, come come along and actually be you know part of the entertainment it's kind of a real you know a real honor to, to do it i've seen people that must have lost their their shoes because they're they're walking around with bare foot like in shorts and they just look like they've lost the will to live that's quite funny. It's, there's always somebody, you get into somewhere like Glastonbury, even when, when I used to come here, and I'd be like getting here sort of Thursday evening, and I'd be like, yeah, I got here pretty early, and there'd always be someone, as soon as I just set foot on the field, there'd be someone like lying face down, maybe a bit sunburned, kind of like, doing, whatever they, doing whatever they bought with them, you know what I mean? And there's always a casualty really early on, so. so I think people just know it's gonna be muddy and raining at yeah. Glastonbury now, so they just dive, literally dive yeah. head first. <laughs> into it when they you get can't here. Fight you know. it anymore. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of felt a bit like that yesterday when we were putting our tent, tents up and it was raining so hard and I just got soaked through. I was just like, oh, I'm not, I don't care, I'm just going to enjoy myself. I think that's kind of the general feeling. It's like, well, you just got to kind of embrace everything and just get on with it. I'd say, yeah, I, and I'm sure a lot of people have, have probably told them this, but just to enjoy it because like, it's, uh, it will be over like that. And if, if you kind of like, nervous or just kind of concerned about how it'll go it's, it's no point you might as well enjoy it because it's everyone wants to have a good time out the front so there's no reason why you shouldn't have a great time on stage i think it's really important to remember if you see something that's like climbable on just get up on it and just yeah that's a good one that's a good way to get get people into you and just show off a bit really because that's what it seems to be you know that's one of the best things about being in a band just showing off really yeah just get away with it just make sure, make sure you look good and pose well because it, because if you you know if you sound bad then at least you've looked good. Yeah. First proper record I bought was uh, Honey's Dead by the Jesus Mary Chain, and I bought I remember buying that it was like that or something else and uh, I can't remember what the other one was and I, I kind of chose a path at that point and I was like right buy the Mary Chain album and that sort of worked and it was like music that wasn't. Uh, but for anybody else except me or my age group at the time, so... You're too cool. Mine, mine was a t complete guilty pleasure. I'm not even going to tell you what the first record... Uh, oh, because it's just not cool. Enough. Okay, the first record I bought was Brothers and Arms by Dire Straits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Anyway. It's too cool. I was, I was, I was like, 11 years old, so I think... Yeah. 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 My first record was Shaken Stevens' White Christmas. It was it White Christmas or rock? I can't rock. rock, rock, rock yeah, rock and roll Christmas. Christmas. That was what it was. Today. I, well, yeah, he played today and I missed it. <laughs> 